Hello guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Many of you may have faced this at some point. iPhone power button is not working. We all understand how frustrating it can be when your power button stops working properly as it's an essential component of controlling your iDevice. But don't worry as in this review will guide you through some practical solutions to fix this issue effortlessly. Let's get started. Before we proceed to some tips with the solutions, let's dwell on the possible reasons why iPhone power button is not working. Some of the phone accessories, namely cases, are known to cause interference with the workings of the iPhone buttons. If you use one of these cases for your device, it's probably blocking the button from being properly pressed. iPhone operating system issues In some cases, the operating system of your iPhone is responsible for the issue. They may be bugs or glitches in the iOS operating system of your iPhone and that may be causing the power button doesn't work properly. If you have installed any updates and that is when the power button stopped working, it's likely that the software of your device is causing the issue. Dust and debris Over time, dust, lint or other debris can accumulate around the power button, causing it to become sticky or obstructed. This can prevent the button from making proper contact and result in it not working as intended. Physical damage If your iPhone has been dropped, for example on the floor, subjected to water damage or experienced any other physical trauma, the power button may become damaged or stuck resulting in its unresponsiveness. For the first tip you need to use a clean, dry cloth or a soft bristle brush to gently clean around the power button. This can help to remove any dust, debris or residue that may be affecting its functionality. For the second option, try to use the built-in assistive touch feature to create a virtual power button on your iPhone screen. To enable this option, simply go to Settings, then head to Accessibility and select touch menu. From here, toggle on assistive touch feature. Now you can customize your virtual button and perform various power-related functions. You can also enable the accessibility shortcut feature which allows you to access essential functions by triple pressing the home button or side button on newer models. You can also configure it to include options like locking the screen, turning off the display or activating emergency call option. To set up accessibility shortcut, launch settings, then go to accessibility menu and then proceed with accessibility shortcut option. Then select the features that you wish to use in the future. Then to use accessibility shortcut, you need triple click the side or top button. For the next tip, please ensure that your iPhone is running the latest version of iOS system. Software updates often include bug fixes and improvements that can address issues with the power button's functionality as well. To update your iOS version, simply go to Settings, then find General, and here proceed with the Software Update menu to download and install the latest iOS version. For the following tip, we recommend you to use our powerful tool that is called AnyFix Utility. AnyFix is a professional iOS system repair tool that helps to solve over 150 plus iOS system issues for more than 200 iTunes issues and can upgrade or downgrade the iOS version of your device just in one click. Now let us show you how to use AnyFix to fix different iOS issues including iPhone power button that is not working. Simply follow the link in the description to download and run any fix utility right on your PC or Mac computer. Then connect your iPhone to it via USB or Type-C cable and in the pop-up dialog window find and choose System Repair option. Next, choose Device Back and click on Start Now button. Here are three repair options that you need to choose to start the process. In our case, we need to choose Advanced Repair feature. Then you need to put your iPhone into recovery mode according to its generation, as it is proposed by Anyfix, right on the screen of your laptop. Next, click to download Firmware button. But before that, please note to connect to stable network and wait patiently during the downloading process 
is to be done. After downloading is finished, click on start button to repair. Afterwards, Anyfix will fix the issue and restart your iPhone automatically. Finally, you will see the hello screen of your iPhone and now you can set up your device's the new one and use it with all its functionality as you've done before. Last but not least, in case if the power button becomes damaged, the only way is to bring your iPhone to the repair store or ask Apple support or help. If you want to use the official warranty support, simply go to the official website support.apple.com. Right on the official support page, choose iPhone and scroll all the way down to find service and repair option. Click on get started with the repair and choose your topic. Then click continue and and sign in to your Apple ID to complete the following steps to require the assistance. Hope that all the tips that we have discussed in this review were kinda useful. Don't forget to subscribe on our channel, like this video and share it with your friends on the social nets. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Peace.